Okay, we play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. <laughs> Who was your childhood celebrity crush? Cameron Diaz, in The Mask, specifically. Not bad. Yeah. Good lady to choose. Yeah. Guilty pleasure? Uh, nice hotels. Really nice hotels. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hate a bad hotel. Yeah, and I love a good hotel. And the sheets. Oh, yeah, man, that's it. Secret talent, Matt. Football, but it's not that secret. Um, I, I, you know, I can't claim that I have a secret talent, sadly. I'm not that interesting. Were you a good soccer player? Yeah. How good? I played for Leicester City and for Nottingham Forest. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Pro? You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how's your American accent? You had to do that for Charles Manson. I've done it for a few things, but I'm too embarrassed to do it now, I'm afraid. It's all right. <laughs> but Brit great British actors can do that. Yeah, and I've done it on stage a couple of times. And so yeah. When you're on stage, is it tough to stay in it? No, because you've got two hours which where you're very focused. Like, I played Patrick Bateman in a musical. And, you know, he's, you know... He's a New Yorker, so it was. It, I prefer the East Side. I, again, Manson's very interesting. I couldn't quite pin that one down. Is he from Virginia? Is he from California? It, you know, he's this amalgamation of everywhere. The right? young man who plays Harry Potter. Daniel. Daniel, I love him. Yeah. I saw him do How to Succeed in Business without a musical. Yeah, in New York. He's American, he's singing all over the place. Then you go backstage, oh, isn't that <laughs> fun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funniest fan encounter. Uh, on the set of Doctor Who, I came off set and a lady had been standing there for a few hours and she ran up to me and she started doing this to my head and then people sort of were like panicked and then she said that she had a picture on her wall of a hedgehog who looked exactly like me and that was it and then she kissed me on the lips and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's the weirdest experience I've had with a fan. What's the most British thing about you? I love Claridge's, the hotel. Uh, <laughs> I've never stayed in no. Ah, that's where Winston Churchill stayed. That's the best hotel in the world, I think. It is. In the, if you ever go to London, stay at Claridge's. I've been in London, but it's, it's, where is it? Right downtown? Yeah, it's in, it's in uh, sort of Mayfair, really. It's beautiful, though. Claridge's, yes. Yeah. What keeps you up at night? Everything. Who would you trade places with for a day? Donald Trump. <laughs> No. Um, uh, Eric Cantona, because, you know, he's a wonderful footballer. Favourite member of the royal family? Prince Philip, unequivocally. Have you met him? No, I'd love to. But he's got no interest in the show, I don't no, think. No, how do you know? A friend of mine had dinner next to him and asked him uh, if he'd watched The Crown. And he said he turned round to him and went, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Is there any one person who inspired you to be an actor? Um, yeah, Jerry Hardingham, the teacher, and then, you know, all those wonderful actors that I admire. Joaquin Phoenix and Daniel Day-Lewis. Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor. Peter Sellers. Tell me something people don't know about you. Um, I used to be a DJ. You were a dish jockey. Yeah. So was I. Really? Well, I'm sure you were much more professional. I just Where mixed I vinyl. Oh, I'd had a talk. Yeah, you, <laughs> you were a proper dish jockey. <laughs> Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.